Do not worry if I were you. There you go. What are your thoughts? Okay, good question. I guess we have to get to this now. What are your thoughts on Jesse on Fire's video on you? Also, any advice for a guy going into college? I don't know what the advice for college would be. Um, you uh, you don't have to have everything figured out in college. How about that? You don't have to have everything figured out in college. Um, I thought, yeah, you had to have all the answers, and uh, you're 18. You don't know anything. You don't need to know anything. Try to experience everything you can and try to learn about the world as best you can. And don't worry about like, oh, what's my major going to be? Figure something out. Do your best. It really will not. It is not such an important question that you have to kind of like have life anxiety over it. All right. Uh, as it pertains to the other one, it's like, dude, I don't even know what to say about shit like this. Let me just say this. There are a few of these guys of this type where, first of all, they have like, they have like uh, titles. They don't have, they don't use their real names. I can think of three of them, but there's some other ones as well, you know, and of course some of the largest creators do that as well. But I just sort of mean like they are, they're upfront telling you that they're not, they're not interested in being sort of seen as serious people. Um, but the bigger point is this, it's like, there's a certain like version of just internet loser that appears to be very concerned with what I have to say about things in ways that surprises me. And I just, I need them to understand something. And I'm honestly not even trying to be mean. I don't care about you. Any of you like <laughs> they care deeply what I have to say. I don't care about anything you say. I don't care about your opinions on anything. I don't care about what content you make. I don't care what you have. Like they, they use my content. I don't, I'm not going to put down copyright strikes on them. I don't give a fuck. I don't in any part of my day ever think it's a useful version of my time to hear anything that they have to say literally about anything, include, including and especially me. Like, why would I do a bare minimum of investigation into what, and he's not alone. There's other ones like him, but a bare minimum of investigation into them. These are, these are people, they are loud for the sake of being loud. They are not interesting. They're not bright. They're not well read. There's nothing interesting about them. Why the fuck would I care? Dude, say what the fuck you want to say. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care at all. You never see me bring them up. I don't give a shit. They, this dude, Jesse on fire, he follows me on Twitter. I don't follow him. He hit me up about a year ago to collab on a video. I didn't hit him up, right? I don't, I don't care about you. I don't care. You utterly meaningless in my life and, and useful ways in which I want to spend my time. And of course, everyone's trying to do this bit where it's like, and this will get used too. Like, oh, you care, you're doing this thing. I care in enough to answer this question. Okay. And then I don't want to talk about it anymore because I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about any of you guys. Zip. That you can't even use your, you don't even use your names. You give you guys, there's chat board screen names. What are you, fucking 40? Like, what are you doing? Okay. I don't give a fuck about you. I don't give a fuck about your channels. I don't give a fuck about your opinions. They're profoundly stupid and not worth my time. Actually, you know what's funny? The joke is really, it's on me, but it's on them and they don't even realize it. Like, it's on me. Here, here's what I mean. Like, here's how, we, getting back to the conversation about like, I've reached certain things, but I'm not where I want to be. Here's how you know I have underachieved. Look at the level of my antagonist. Just the most pathetic version you've ever seen. Like, that is the person that thinks that like we're peers enough to have these, like, mo like what the fuck? Like, nothing says, nothing is, like, the saddest shit. The biggest critique you could make of my career is that, that these kinds of people are the people who think that they're my antagonist. Like, oh, my fucking God. Do you know what, like, an underachiever you have to be for that to be? the situation at least i'm honest about it with you right like i'm telling you the truth like i, I get that like that is my fucking antagonist. like when chael made a video about me i responded to chael right that's a worthy adversary like what the f these fucks like you just got to be kidding me bro you just got to be kidding me i cannot believe these fucking mongrels think that we are peers like oh my god oh my god
So I don't give a fuck. Say I like say what you want to say, dude. Like I <laughs> it doesn't like it doesn't change anything about my life. None of it is interesting. Like it's proximity to the truth. Here's how confident I am, and I'll end on this one. I encourage anyone in my audience to please go hear what they have to say. And this gentleman and some other ones as well. And if in the end, like that content is better for you, I encourage you to go. I encourage you. We don't have the same audience. Like I, there's no doubt in my mind, like the kind of audience that I want would like, they're not interested in antagonists of this level. Oh my God, dude. How, it's so fucking embarrassing that I have to be like, these are the people that are, these are the people coming after you. Oh my God, dude. People that look like they've been tasered on the side of the highway in North Florida. Another one who looks like a skin tag that someone fucking super glued pubic hair to. I mean, we are just talking about fucking garbage pail kids coming after you with loud opinions, utterly centered on nothing. Like, what do I think about it? I don't. <laughs>